we're very excited because we have super seizure cells here you can see and uh, this one's capped and this one's capped this one's open we can see open larvae in there so they are ready to double in size so i'm giving this to my nephew mike he's very excited so excited and he's going to start his own honeybee hives here whoop, whoop. so we're going to take this and we're going to walk it over to oh, his there box there she is where right there right hand side she's right coming there. up that is the a drone. drone. Okay. Yep. See the rounded, that, in, rounded like end. That is a big bee. Yep. That's a big. That's the drone. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. Okay. okay. So um, we're gonna take this and go put it in his box right now. He's got a brand new uh, box, as you can see. We've put four frames in there, and we're gonna take four frames out of my hive and put it in here, and we're gonna check aboard my hive at the same time. We've checked to make sure there's no queen on here, so we're good to go. Okay, this is the third frame out of this box. And again, the queen is doing an outstanding job. This is really textbook perfect. We've got the all the worker uh, larvae in here and the honey around it. They're really packing in the honey there. You can see how thick those honey cells are. And then here on the other side, we have even more worker bee cells and look at all the super procedure cells down at the bottom so this is great this is the third one out of this box Mike's got two hives he's gonna start and we'll just put that in with one of the other ones so out of the top brood box we have two brood boxes, both deeps, we found four frames that had super procedure cells on them, which is awesome. So now I'm going to take these other frames and I'm going to checkerboard them. I'm going to get uh, a, a brand new plastic frame, put it right in here. This will let the queen know that there's plenty of room for laying eggs and storing honey. So this will remove the desire for swarming. Well, actually, we're going to leave that one there. No, yeah. Well, we'll that one's the outside. Awesome. We'll put this one here. Another one. And we just doubled her room. And so she should be plenty happy. And now we're just going to space everything together here evenly. Make sure one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need one more. We have not done anything to these frames at all. We haven't added any wax. We haven't sprayed them with sugar water. We're just putting them directly into the box. Okay, and now we're just going to even things up. So that one is done it's checkerboarded and we're going to take it off and we're going to look for any more super procedure cells down below here uh, we all the super procedure cells were on the top brood box i'm keeping one of my frames that has super procedure cells uh, in my original box here just in case i may have given my nephew the queen we didn't look for the queen i don't care to look for the queen but in case he has the queen i'm going to put this in here so they can make their own queen and I, I'm just putting it down in the bottom no particular reason just because we're already down the bottom it is Monday morning and I came over to my nephew and niece's house to see how the bees are doing and lo and behold here they are sitting out front just like I did when I got my bees watching the new bees and it's cold you can tell but anyway, they've got their beehive set up here and we've been watching them and they are doing a great job. All right, here's a bee that comes out here and this is perfect. They come out, they come out on the face of the hive. They look around for the sun. You can't see it because she's flying around, but she's doing a circle, circle, and gone. So they come out and reorient themselves. He's had these closed up since uh, sun, uh, Saturday evening about 36 hours or so. He's got some branches off of his peach tree. So when they come out, they have to kind of reorient. There's a blockage there. And then they will uh, walk around and 
get their bearings and then fly off. And we've been here long enough this morning to see bees flying back. So we know it's working. Matter of fact, we got a couple bees coming back right now. Here she is over on the side. Uh, he is only about, what would you say, 200 yards? 300 yards at the most yards. from my house. And these bees are not coming over to my house because I checked that this morning. Tell me what you think so far. Woohoo! I'm excited. I'm very excited. <laughs> so, is this, uh, did it go as how you had hoped it would go? It has. It's gone really good. Excellent. And you've uh, made up your sugar water. You're going to give them that. Yeah, we'll put the take the reducers out and put the sugar water in um, in about 10 minutes. Okay, so he's got two brand new hides. It's chock full of bees and supersedure cells. Supersedure cells and larvae and honey. So he's got two brand new beehives here. So he stained and coated the boxes. Really good job there. And he's going to be doing the same to the bases down here below. Another successful split, actually two splits. Wasn't hard. Just We just fed them for about six weeks. They built up. As soon as they had super procedure cells in there, we pulled them out with all the bees that were on the frames and put them in new boxes and he's off to the races. So probably another couple weeks he's going to see the queen come out and go get mated and start producing bees like crazy. Yay. This is LDS Prepper reminding you if you are prepared you shall not fear and if you had got a friend that has some beehives you might ask them if they're willing to split their hives with you so you can have your own beehives pollinate your garden and have honey for your family.